Hey, good morning everybody. It's Mark again here, Weatherman Plus. It is November 15th on Sunday. God bless all of you today. I hope you have a great day today. Uh, we have the updates on Hurricane Iota. As of 4 a.m. this morning, it is at 80 miles per hour hurricane. It is at 985 millibars. And it is moving west at 6 miles per hour. Now here's what it looks like as far as the tropical storm warnings and hurricane warnings. The blue is the tropical storm warnings and the red is the hurricane warnings. It is predicted, of course, to be a major hurricane by 1 p.m. tomorrow. And it will be a tropical storm by the time it hits Honduras. And then when it gets towards El Salvador, it will be a tropical depression. Now here's the area if you, if you look for your area you'll see exactly who's in the cone for these warnings and of course outside the cone still gets a lot of impacts it's just the, the where the, the storm is going to travel so san andreas keep your eyes open please but all these cities you are in the hurricane force winds you're going to be a, a lot of rainfall there's going to be a, a lot of damaging winds so please beware uh, belize South Belize, you will be getting some rainfall, but it looks like mostly for you it would be around 30 miles per hour, maybe 40 miles per hour uh, wind event with some rain. So it don't look like it would be too damaging, but mostly it's going to be where it's been for, for Ada. It was Nicaragua, Honduras, and pieces of uh, Guatemala. Now as far as the recon goes, as far as the intensity of this storm, so far if you see the purple... The purple is a 64 to the 83 knot winds, and they have picked them up on the northeast and the northwest side of the storm. However, the south side of the storm is weakest so far. Uh, they only found one that is 55, 50 to 55 knots, and that was only one uh, wind rally. The rest of them shows that the potency of this storm is going to be on the north side so far. Uh, if it gets up under itself and gets really aligned, it could be all the way around, and it is expected to for it to intensify to a major uh, hurricane. It would need to be all the way around, otherwise it, it wouldn't be as strong as it's predicted to be. Uh, now, if you, what you're looking at here is the, the recon for the from the aircraft for the wind, and if you look from left to right, this is how they take the measurements from the north to the south side of the storm. So the north side of the storm is very strong. It's 75 to 78 knots, as you can see. And the south side is very weak. It's about 35 to 36 knot winds. So the north side so far is the most potent uh, part of this storm. Now it is predicted by a few models to get all the way up to Cat 4 hurricane strength. A lot of them show that it will be up to the edge of Cat 4 and be a Cat 3, the majority of them do. However, you need to prepare for Cat 4 because uh, you always prepare for one worse than what is predicted. But I definitely see it being at least a low-end Cat 4 hurricane. Now, if you go by the H-Wharf, now as it comes in in the most potent part uh, right before landfall, the H wharf shows that it would be 104 knot winds. The millibars would be down to 951 millibars. And 104 knot winds is 116 miles per hour. So just be aware of that, please. Now, the worst one is H Mon. It shows that it will get down to 939 millibars and it'll be 124. Uh, not winds and 124 knot winds would be 142 miles per hour winds so please be aware that this thing could be very high energy high potent and be very damaging now as far as the storm in about 42 to 48 hours is when you're going to start seeing and getting the effects from the storm uh, as far as the hurricane force and it in 48 hours the wave height will be somewhere around 20 feet. I mean, it will be taller. It will get up to 23, 24 feet. But as it comes in with the intensity, it goes down to about 20 foot waves. And then after it gets about uh, 20, 24 hours later, it gets down to about 12 to 13 foot waves uh, for the other parts of Honduras, parts of Belize, and, and Guatemala. 
be about 12 to 13 foot waves for you. Now, as far as the wind gust goes, first of all, when it first comes in in 48 hours, the wind gust is going to be 170 kilos per hour, which is 105 uh, miles per hour. Now, 24 hours, uh, uh, sorry, 24 hours later, it'll be around 154 uh, kilos per hour, which brings you to 95 miles per hour. So for about 24 hours, it is going to be a very, very powerful storm. Even 95 miles per hour wind gust is still a very powerful storm. Now, as you see, it does weaken down to 137 kilos uh, per hour, and 137 is 85. But if you watch again, you'll see that it does get back strong once again to 149 uh, kilos per miles per hour. And 149 uh, kilos per miles per hour is 92, 90 to 95 miles per hour. So it's going to be 85, then it's going to get back up to 95 for a little while. Then it's going to go back down again to 85, then go considerably less. But it is going to hold that strength all the way through it, at least worst case scenario uh, or, or best case scenario that at least 85 miles per hour wind gust, even at the end of this event, is going to stay that strong. Now, Guatemala, it looks like the worst case scenario for you would be 139 kilos per miles per hour, which is 85, 86 miles per hour. And then when it gets towards Belize, it looks like y'all be dealing mostly with 40, maybe 50 uh, miles per hour wind gusts at the max. And that's what we have so far. Now, as far as your total precipitation goes, uh, when it first starts coming in, you can see it moving in. It's 48 hours, pretty much. It'll be before that, about 36 hours, but the worst of it is in 48 hours. And then as it moves in, it starts really soaking the ground. And we're talking a couple of days of this going on. So not only the wind you have to worry about the damage, now you got to worry about the flooding rain. And then after it's finished moving through, you can see everybody affected. You got uh, lower Belize, you got Guatemala on the coast, you got Honduras, you got Nicaragua, and the highest is 753 uh, millimeters, which is 30 inches of rainfall. And 30 inches of rainfall would be in all this bright color that you see in these areas. You're going to get 30 inches of rainfall. Really, you're going to get more because all this terrain is mountainous terrain. And it's going to run down these valleys and add up even more. So you can expect way more than 30 inches of rainfall. But at least 30, which is bad enough, I'm sure. Now here's our storm right here. And you can see that it will start to get intensif intensif intensification as soon as it gets up under itself. Right now it's a little lopsided. That's why the north is stronger uh, than the south. But that is expected to happen today. Uh, it, will, it will strengthen today. Today is going to be some major intensification on this part. And San Andreas, you got literally about 24 hours before the storm is near you. So please be aware, be prepared as much as you can. I know there's not much preparation you can do, but it's going to be bad enough, guys. And, and Ada was bad enough, and hearing about all the bad things that happened and all the lives lost, it really does affect... Uh, well, at least I don't know about every other American, but it really does affect me. Okay? I really don't want to see anybody get hurt. But just knowing that no matter what you do and no matter what you say, there's going to be lives lost because of this. So God bless all of you over there in Honduras and Guatemala, Nicaragua, even Belize. Please stay safe. May the Lord be with all of you. And I hope that you will be safe. I'd like to pray for you and your soul because you're all beautiful people. Psalm 9. I will praise thee, O Lord. With my whole heart, I will shew forth all thy marvelous works. I will be glad and rejoice in thee. I will sing praise to thy name, O thou most high. When mine enemies are turned back, they shall fall and perish at thy presence. For thou hast maintained my right hand and my cause. That Thou saddest in the, th in the throne judging right. Thou hast rebuked the heathen. Thou hast destroyed the wicked. Thou hast put out their name forever and ever. O thou enemy, destructions are come to a perpetual end. And thou hast destroyed cities. Their memorial is perished with them. But the Lord shall endure forever. 
He hath prepared his throne for judgment, and he shall judge the world in righteousness. He shall minister judgment to the people in the uprightness. The Lord also will be a, a refuge for the oppressed, a refuge in times of trouble. And they that know thy name will put their trust in thee. For thou, Lord, has not forsaken them that seek thee. Sing praises to the Lord, which dwelleth in Zion. Declare among the people his doings. When he maketh inquisition for blood, he remembereth them. He forgetteth not the cry of the humble. Have mercy upon me, O Lord. Consider my trouble which I suffer of them that hate me. Thou that liftest me up from the gates of death, that I may shew forth all thy praise in the gates of the daughter of Zion. I will rejoice in thy salvation. The heathen are sunk down in the pit that are made, and the net which they hid is their own foot taken. The Lord is known by the judgment with which he executeth. The wicked is snared in the work of his own hands. Haggion Salah. The wicked shall be turned into hell and all the nations that forget God. For the needy shall not always be forgotten. The expectation of the poor shall not perish forever. Arise, O Lord, let not man prevail. Let the, let the heathen be judged in thy sight. Put them in fear, O Lord, that the nations may know themselves to be but men. Salah. Amen, guys. I want to appreciate and thank every single one of you that left a comment yesterday on that video. I do appreciate what you said, and, and I do take it to heart, and it did help me in so many ways. The way I see it is we all have the breath of life from God, so we all have a piece of God within us. So when you speak from your heart and you speak to me, I believe I am hearing from God. So you're, you're, what you say to me out of your heart matters to me. So I praise God and thank God for speaking to me through all of you. So thank you so much. I love every single one of you. You are great people. God bless everybody that's in the path of this storm. I pray that you will all be safe, that we not lose one single life. I will update later this afternoon. See what the updates is in the storm because it is going to intensify all day today. I hope that God gives y'all peace. I hope that I hope He's there to protect every single one of you. God bless you all in Central America, also in Mexico, because this may go into some effects for the Yucatan. We don't know yet. All glory does go to God. Amen, guys. God bless you all.